All right, here's the run through in part three. You want all, th this is the first team you want in because you want all three sabers up. The whole goal of standalone is to get as many counterattacks as possible. Deathmark makes sure that every single counterattack is onto Treya and has some bonus damage. And that's the same with Raid Han and the same with, um, and, this, and the same with uh, anyone here. Uh, same with Greedo running standalone. So the Saber on the right was warp first to move. We have to proc the payout so that Greedo gets his counterattack chance to 100%. So this one was the first to move. We're going to do that. And we have ability block, which might be a restart. We'll give it a try anyways. And it was enough. We proc'd that payout onto Greedo. Fantastic. Now I don't want to hit Darth Treya because I don't want to give her turn meter. So I'm just going to waste some shots over here. Pow is ready to give offense up, so all three moved before Treya. Perfect. Now Treya will go, and she isolated Chewie, which is fine. If she isolates Greedo, you have to restart. Pow got hit but survived, so he's still providing that offense up during standalone. We're going to hit death mark onto Treya, and now we're ready to run it. Uh, that is a run, and we're all set up to go, and we just hope we get enough hits to make the run worth it. We're at 51%. We'd love to get 10%. Uh, would be fantastic, but even 5% is good. You just This just depends on how much damage you want to get and how many hits in a row it gets. So we're going to hit standalone, and we are only going to use the basic ability to get as many chain hits together as possible. And that's just one. That sucks. No counterattack. No counterattack. One. One, two, three. And he didn't counterattack at all, and he just got wasted. Uh, so that was a bad run, just bad luck, no counterattacks, got hit a bunch of times in a row. So we're going to restart and do that setup again. And I will make you watch this. So we're going to retreat battle, because this is the real life. I mean, we get takes... Uh, some my brother's complaining about it taking 30 times to get set up correctly. Dune likes to complain a lot, and uh, you can see that sometimes that ability block will fall off, so you don't always have to restart if there's an ability block on POW. If anyone gets hit by with a stagger twice in a row, it'll mess up the turn order, and I don't remember which one went first. Maybe it was this left one. With that one, and it was, and we have to kill this with the execute. And we did not, no crits, so we get to retreat again. If I retreat a couple times, I'll pause it and start a new one once I get it right. Alright, so I gotta pay attention to which saber moves first. We gotta hit that one first, good. Greedo's guarded, hit stagger. If he had gotten hit with that stagger again, we'd have to restart because the turn order is messed up. No one's ability blocked. Um, We'll get that one. Okay, this is looking better. He actually crit on that one. And Boba did not finish killing that. Sometimes I'll throw on crit chance on Boba just to make sure he kills it more often. Sometimes crit damage, sometimes offense. He just did not kill that saber, and he needs to. So I guess that's one thing is Chewie and Boba have to be strong enough to take out a saber when they attack. Left one moved first. Now... Guarded would be a problem, or the ability block would be a problem if this one had foresight, because I wouldn't get any hits on it at all. We have a chance we might be able to kill it anyways with just his normal attack. He did crit. We'll see what his execute does. And it was enough. So we got the payout. We're ready to go. Uh, Pow does not currently have ability block on him, so we can hit that offense up. Boba got isolated, which is fine. And we can throw on that death mark. And here we go. We're ready to give it a run and see. If we get enough hits on it, we're 51%. We're going to stand alone. And you can see these hits, he's doing 130 on a crit, plus an extra 10 on that death mark. But he's only getting one or two here. I want a run of like six or seven counterattacks is what I'm really looking for. All right, here we go. Two. Oh, just two. <laughs> so he's not counterattacking very much at all. Three, four... So we had four there, which isn't a ton. Yeah. So we got 
3.5% damage, that's not a lot. I keep runs where we have like 10 or 15. Uh, like he, he does, he hits 15 or 20 times. Like like he'll counterattack seven times in a row with good RNG. So I'm going to restart again a couple times and keep a uh, run that's between 5 and 10% damage. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes not. So I'm going to pause the video and start it again when I'm ready to show a run that we have a chance.